In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a really awesome Facebook cover video, and that's right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. Now, once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to begin by creating a brand new sequence. So we'll go File, New, Sequence. And inside of the sequence settings, you want to go over to Settings. You want to set the editing mode to Custom. The time base is your frames per second. So, so in my example, I'm going to select 23.976, but you can set this to whatever your footage is set to. But I'm going to select 23.976. Now frame size is the most important part of this entire process. You want to set the width to 820 and you want to set the height to 462. It's really important that the frame size is 820 by 462. If this is anything else, then Facebook will either reject it or it will distort the video and you don't want that. So make sure this is 820 by 462. Now moving on, the pixel aspect ratio should be square pixels fields is no fields and then everything else here is fine of course if you want to rename the sequence then you can go ahead and do that in this box at the very bottom of this window but once you're happy with that we'll press ok and we'll drag some footage onto the timeline now this footage is 1920 by 1080 so dragging this in to this project premiere pro is going to ask me if i want to change the sequence settings to match the 1080 video but you want to keep the existing settings that's really important so because this is bigger, if we go into motion and we pull down this scale, we can pull this all the way down to around 50% roughly, and that will fill the video. Now, Facebook cover videos have to be between 20 and 90 seconds long. So unfortunately, this video clip is only seven seconds long. And because it's only seven seconds long, that means we need to either add more footage, or if we only want to use this clip, then we can go ahead and we can create a seamless loop for at least 20 seconds. So I'm going to begin by copying and pasting that first video clip. So I'm going to select the first video clip, hold command C and command V three times. So this means I should have four copies of the video. And if we pull them next to each other, then we've got 30 seconds worth of video. Now I'm going to go to that second video clip, right click on the cursor, go up to speed slash duration and select reverse speed. And we'll do that once more for the fourth video clip click reverse speed and press OK. Now when we play this back, you'll see we've got this really awesome and really seamless looping effect happening. This looks really awesome and this is a great way of extending the duration of your video for Facebook headers if you don't have more footage. Now of course we can just export this and set this as your header, but of course if you want to add your logo or a slogan, then we can go ahead and do that with the legacy title window. So we'll go file new legacy title. And inside of Legacy Title, you can just create a logo or you can just add some text. So I'm just going to type out the word logo. I'm just going to create a box. I'm going to put the logo on top of the box. Then I'm just going to create a slogan by pressing T and typing out some text. I'm going to position this over to the right. And then I'm going to come out of the Legacy Title window, drag that onto Video Layer 2, and we'll extend the duration of this over to the right. Then I'm just going to move the position of this over to the right, pull that up a little bit in the motion tab, and that looks really awesome. Of course, you can go ahead and you can add some shape layers to your footage. You can add some graphics. It's completely up to you. But once you're happy with the look of your video, we need to go ahead and export this for Facebook. So if you're on Mac, then you can just go ahead and hold command and press M to load at the export window, or you can go up into file export media. So when you're in the export media tab, you want to go ahead and change the export settings and the format needs to be changed to H.264. Moving down to the video settings and we want to make sure that the width and the height are both 1820 by 462. And a great way to ensure this is set to this is to select the match source button. So make sure that match source button has been selected. We'll scroll down and we'll select the render at maximum depth button. In the bitrate settings, we'll change the bitrate encoding to CBR and we'll pull target bitrate all the way up to 14. Then we'll select use maximum render quality. And from here, we can just press the export button. Now, Premiere Pro will take a minute to export that, but as soon as that is completed, we can go onto Facebook and we can hover over the top left corner of the video cover. And we can go ahead and select upload photo slash video. Select that button, go through your finder and select the video that we just exported 
And there you go. You've just created and uploaded a really awesome Facebook cover video. It was super quick, it was super easy. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.